So let's have a little look at the shower pump we've got at the minute. Now, hot and rain water head as well. You see this okay pressure, it's coming in a little bit. So hear that? So the pump keeps kicking in and kicking out. So there's a problem with it basically pre-charging. Now, customer also wants some more power. So what we're gonna fit? Well, this is actually a single pump. We're going for a 2.6 rather than the two bar that's in there. So there's just a little bit more pressure. And this is a far better pump than the one that's in there. So let's remove the old pump. And we're working in there. It's very, very tight. Disconnect the old pump. Now we're quite limited for space, we've got a little stubby flathead. Oh, and that's going to go in there. Oh, it's really hard to get in there. And there we go, that is off now. Let's get plenty of blue roll. And then we're just gonna get that disconnected. So we've got a little tough tub in there just collecting any water from. Basically the pipe goes off and up to the shower. So this is the old one. You see that? Um, it's a pre-charged vessel, so. When you're looking at the heights of your tank and everything else, you've got to make sure that you got positive or negative pressure and make sure you get the right pump. So let's have a look at the new pump. Oh, lights come on. That doesn't really look too good, does it? Right. Oh, hang on a minute. So let's have a little look at some of these old school instructions. single impeller pump maybe I should turn out this vessel on the top here you can check that for um, make sure you get the right pressure so if you have a service in it take off the caps and let's get this bad boy in there it's gonna be a very tight tight fit Ooh, that's going to be snug. Is that going to go? I'm so good at filming things you see you can just see the back of my head at the minute so what I'm doing is I've got these flexible hoses now to unwind these unwind these on the new ones so we can imagine I've got a three-quarter thread fitting this is a shower fitting but they're plastic uh, or are they metal on those I think they're metal but they're black painted so so put it on, make sure you just don't cross thread it. As long as you don't cross thread it, it's just hand tight. Now it's hand tight, that will seal water up to whatever pressure. Uh, certainly over 
the one the 2.6 bar that will be pumped through it now if you look at the hose and you look at the top on here it will say on it hand tight only so the reason it says hand tight only is because that's all you need it's got a rubber seal inside of it so it's just rubber going pressing down onto the flat surface and that is what will create the seal as easy as that and that will get the job done get my little screwdriver now we're going to turn it on turn the water feed on Come on. Right, so I'm using a flat-headed screwdriver because we have basically a ball of fix like this. So it's a slotted in insta isolation. There we go, that's the word. Slotted isolation valve. There we go. We're pretty much off. Are we off? I've gone too far there. Now I have a quarter of a turn on the Stuart Turner one, so you actually can't overdo it. Once it stops, it stops. So that's off. Let's turn it so you can see what it's like on. And that's what happens when it goes on. It's a ball valve. That's what's called a ball O fix. Now they usually come here just after the push fit fitting, or as part of the push fit fitting. Now, if they don't, and you're going to be replacing them. Ideally, you want to put some isolations on the incoming. Now, I would suggest these. These are butterfly valves. So you can just do it with your hand. No tools are required. And that'll make your installation go from your bag, basic average to an elite plumbing installation. So there we go. Make sure you put isolations on your incoming. You can put them on the incoming supply and outgoing out of the pump as well which will stop any water dripping when the pump gets swapped over so that's thinking about the person that comes after you if they're ever going to be servicing that pump but there we go where is it there it is right so the pump is now live we can check for leaks we need to just get a plug so we can actually plug it in Okay, so moment of truth. If you need help on wiring in a plug, make them dogs to shut up. Right, <laughs> right. Once you've plugged it in, you'll hear that pre charging. Uh, if you need help wiring a plug, I'm not the man for that. So, I don't do electrics on this channel. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. First time. Quite a quiet pump. It seems to be running nice. We're going to turn it hot. All the way to hot. All the way to cold. That doesn't really matter on a single impeller, to be honest with you. Hot or cold. Uh, does it? Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, it would. So, pull any air through. Get rid of any air. Right, so I'm going to turn that one off. Right, so what is the difference between a single and this one is a double impeller pump? So you've basically got two sides of the pump with two impellers. The impeller is in the type of thing you'd have on the back of the on the back of a boat that motors a boat along. So you can imagine what an impeller is. It is these things here, which move. I mean, this is an old pump that's had it. So. On a twin impeller, you've got these this side and also this side, but this is from out of a scrap bag. And on a single, you only have the one side, so you only have the one impeller. So what's the difference? Right, so traditionally on this one, you'd have hot and cold. They get pumped through. Now on a single impeller, you've got your already mixed hot and cold. It's mixed whatever temperature you've turned it to. Um, and then it will pump that mixture to your shower head. So it's almost like before the shower valve, you'd have a twin. After the shower valve, you have a single impeller pump. So there you go, that's the difference. But there we go, just taking that cover plate off. If you can see that's where the water actually goes through. And that just spins. So that's your impeller there. 
and that turns off nice so the sensor is picking up that it's turned off now look at that and that seems to be a much better pressure even though it's only 0.6 of a bar more you can tell the difference especially when you've got such a large head look at that it's going to turn off uh right that one's the main head that one's the handheld now look up here we'll just check these see whether these are all running if they're not you just flick them like that and that will solve that problem uh sometimes you might have to clean them out put a bit of vinegar on give them a good scrub with a uh quite a, quite a stiff brush and that will do the trick but there we go easy I keep forgetting which one's which. <laughs> right, there we go, all done. I'll get that hatch put back on, and that's it. Nice easy job, so I'm back home early. Ah, perfect cup of tea. So, I'm back home early because we're Stuart Turner. And nice easy jobs, nice easy installations. You can't really fault them. So, uh, check out Stuart Turner, and then obviously, if you like this sort of thing, if you love this content, Smash that like button, hit, ring the bell, subscribe for all the, all the amazing plumbing content you can get from, you know, the darling of the plumbing industry, Professor Plumbing. Yes, I need to get that filled and painted.